Hello Squadron, this is Commander Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with our State of the Unit address for July. Uh, the State of the Unit, if you haven't been to a State of the Unit address before, what this is, is a unit uh, newsletter. This is our monthly unit update of what's going on, what we can expect, what we're looking forward to, any changes in the unit, things like that. Uh, if you're not in the unit and you're watching this video, feel free to watch the video, learn a little bit about the 1st Naval Aerospace Squadron. If you are in the unit, um, that's why you're here watching. Okay. Uh, if you're not in the unit as well, you can always apply at 1nas.engine.com uh, to our uh, engine website, or you can go to Robert Space Industries slash orgs slash 1nas. Uh, Alright, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, right above me, I've got the agenda. And uh, the agenda, what we're talking about, uh, there's not a whole lot of changes. As everybody knows, 3.0 is not out yet, and we're totally expecting a lot of change when 3.0 happens. Uh, we're going to have a lot of change in our activity, a lot of change in, in our uh, training and a lot of change in our play styles and things like that. So uh, we really do need to kind of get together and start playing more often together uh, as a team up until 3.0, uh, just to just to meet each other because not everybody's met everyone else. And then another thing is uh, when 3.0 comes out, a lot of the controls and command schemes of uh, unit, you know, your control schemes and all that for your uh, ship and for first person is all going to change. So what I plan to do as a YouTuber, as a as a live streamer, I'm going to create a few tutorials for the uh, public at large on how to control your ship, how to, uh, where to find all the different commands and controls, specifically in the Sabre. Uh, that is our unit this uh, the saber here right behind me is the unit ship that is uh, we fully expect anybody that plans to fly a fighter uh, to be part of the escort of the team should have a saber if you have a hornet that's okay uh, if you have any other fighter that's also okay but um, if you're if you're on the fence on whether or not to get a saber get a saber okay that is our ship all right so let's talk about membership and recruiting that's bullet point number one up there um, we have you know kind of um, slacked off on recruiting to be honest because um, we haven't really been logging in that much now if you've been logging in and if if you've been uh, posting in the chat uh, that, that the one NES was recruiting. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the, the unit appreciates that. Um, our, our, your fellow members in the unit appreciate that. Uh, I personally have only logged in, I counted it six times. I logged, I streamed six times in the month of June, and I'm sure that I might have missed once or twice doing some recruiting. So I probably only recruited like four times. Uh, in that four times that I did some recruiting, we were able to get Goose Belly, or Goose, and he's actually joined our squadron. Uh, he's been in Discord, he's, uh, he's chatted with us a few times, uh, he's watched a few videos, you know, he hung out with us. Now, I don't think I've ever flown with him. I'm trying to remember if we flew in Arena Commander one time with him or not. I don't remember. But Rogue's been on with me. Parasite's been on with me. Uh, Grub's been on. And uh, we've done some um, Arena Commander. And we've done, you know did some uh, refresher courses on flight stick action and stuff like that. But uh, that is all going to change at 3.0. So... It's all kind of like, yeah, I'm giving you a refresher, but hold off on really sit, setting this into your memory kind of thing. And, uh, okay, so so our membership changed to 19 on the RSI site. And then, I don't know, this guy's trying to be funny. And then there is uh, 20 on the engine site. Uh, 
Now I haven't I haven't wanted to reinvest in the engine site, and we'll talk about this probably a little bit later, because a lot of the features are moving over to Spectrum. So I might do like a six month thing, uh, or maybe maybe one month at a time, because it's eight ninety nine a month, uh, and I'm not getting any help from the rest of the squadron right now. If you want to help out and donate to the squadron by supporting the channel, supporting the, the, the squadron by donating, that's fine. But don't don't worry about it too much. Um, I'm not really concerned about it. We're going to be moving entirely over to Spectrum eventually. I've, I've pursued maybe other websites uh, like Wix or some other site, and I've decided that Engine is still the best at the time for what we're trying to do. So I'm just gonna leave it where it is and not really touch it. Just just do the free thing for a while. And uh, because it, pretty much it lets us do everything we wanna do with the free. I just have to go through and fix the website uh, where it, it doesn't look like we've neglected it, um, which I technically I have. So I need to get in there and fix that. Okay, so um, what is disappointing is part of the uh, membership and recruiting is that uh, nobody, maybe one person, has gone into our Spectrum post and upvoted it. One person. I need you guys, I need you guys, if you're watching this, go to our Spectrum post and upvote it. Upvote our recruiting post. If there's more upvotes, it will be higher up in the list of the squadron recruiting thread so because like I went to the squadron page to see who is recruiting and we're like on the fifth or sixth page come on guys we can get we can get higher up on there so please just go to our and the link is on our website just click it it takes you straight to our recruiting thread and then once you're there you don't even have to read it I don't even care just hit upvote uh, if you if you read it and you disagree with it, let me know. If you want to post a comment, that would be awesome as well. And then other people can upvote your comments, and that will even make it even higher. So we need we need more upvotes on our thread. We're not getting them. I don't know if you guys don't give a shit, or if you don't know how to do it, or if you don't know where it is. Okay, so um, go to the website. I'm talking about 1nas.engine.com. Look on the right hand side where it shows all the links. One of them says the Spectrum Recruiting Thread. Click it. It'll take you to our recruiting thread in Spectrum. And there's a little button that says plus one with an arrow pointing upwards. Click it. You gotta log in, I think, and click it. That's it. Done. You're done. Okay, moving on. Past events. Well, I already mentioned this. I've been live streaming about once or twice a week, uh, six times in the month of June. That's not very much. That's, that's, but you know what? I haven't, uh, like Dan Giesling said, I watched, I watched a video with Dan Giesling in it, and he said, the orange has been squeezed, <laughs> or something like that. He said, he's squeezed the orange to the point where he's not, he's, gone through all the pulp he's now in the he's now in the skin of the orange but he's not in the white part he's already in the orange part he's almost all the way through the orange or something he was he was exaggerating what he's basically trying to say is in 2.6 there's 18 missions there's a lot of different things you can make up and do and just have a good time he's done it and he's probably done it a hundred times because he plays every Wednesday and uh, plays for about four or five hours every Wednesday, and then he breaks those videos up throughout the week, so you get you get five videos. You know, Monday through Friday, you get a short thirty-minute video or something like this. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's you you can only do so much, and that's where I was. That's my problem, and I'm sure that's what your problem was as well. You, even though you want to get in there, you want to test, you want to help out CIG, you want to do all the cool stuff, there's just nothing new. There's nothing, nothing's going on. It's basically like, eh. and there's no way to create our own content. Well, we can pretend to create content, but there's no real way to create content 
because they haven't given us the tools yet to create content. And that's fine because we, we understand that the game's still in development. Uh, but when 3.0 drops, there's going to be a lot more to do, right? There's going to be the old stuff, of course, and then there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff, and then there's going to be a way to create our own content. So what, and then there's going to be a ton of stuff to explore. So it's going to be probably about 10 times as much stuff to do. Um, I'm not exaggerating. I'm just going to say about 10. I don't want to say 100 times more. No, it's probably going to be about 10 times more. So if we're doing about 20 missions and stuff, you're, think about 80 missions or 80 things to do. Okay, if I have 80 things to do, if I do one of those every day, that's about three months worth of content. That's excellent. Then 3.1 will drop, and then something else will happen. There's going to be uh, time sinks in 3.0, and if you're not, not sure what time sinks are, then you need to um, understand that in an MMO, the game company that makes the MMOs needs to, must, put something in the game that makes you sit there and go, man, this is taking forever. If they don't do that, then you will just fly through all the content and you will finish it in one day, right? So just imagine, I'm going to use this as an example. You're in Village A. The mission is go to Village B, grab the dongle, and bring it back to Village A. Well, guess what? That's a that's a freaking time sink, and they did that on purpose. They could have just said go to the guy across the street and come back. No, that's too easy, too fast. So you have to go take an hour of horseback riding or whatever it is, all the way over to Village B, and then you get the dongle, which might have to fight something or whatever. You get the dongle, then you bring it back. So there, you just spent two hours in the game having a good time, enjoying your time, you know, avoiding encounters along the way and things like that. But that whole trip there and back was deliberately long. They meant it to be that way. Uh, it, it gives the re reward. So like when you bring the dongle back and you hand it and they go, hey, here's your plus five magic sword. You're like, man, I had to go all the way over to Village B and bring it back, man. And that plus five magic sword becomes more valuable to you. And so Star Citizen is going to do the same thing. You've got quantum travel from planet to planet. It's going to take minutes, you know, if not dozens of minutes to go from one place to another. You're going to have to, your mission might even be to go from system to system to system to system, get the thing, and then come system to system to system. It might even take you a week of real time to do something. I'm anticipating that. If, if there's not missions like that, I will be disappointed. Okay, but what I'm, what, what I'm saying is, because there's nothing like that now, everything is around Crusader. You just go boom, 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 and you're doing your missions in like no time flat. You, we blaze through the missions. And so there's no missions because we've done them all. We've done them all 100 times. 3.0 drops. Now we're going to have multiple worlds, multiple things to explore, multiple missions going in multiple directions. I'm anticipating that. I'm hoping for that. Okay, somebody's coming by. I don't want them to be on that word. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, now, next topic is the upcoming activities. Well, we really don't have any upcoming activities going on right now. I am planning the beta boot camp. I, every week or so, I spend a little bit of time typing up a document. I've got a document on my Google Docs, which is not I have not shared with you guys. But I have a, a Google Doc that I'm working on the beta boot camp. I am going through that, uh, and I don't plan to release it, or I, uh, let me rephrase that, I don't plan to implement it in our squadron until the game actually goes to beta. Because right now the game is still considered alpha. And I think, and I'm not sure, but I think when we go to 4.0, which is probably a year and a half from now, when we go to 4.0, we'll be in closed beta. And when we hit closed beta, we're going to start implementing the beta boot camp. Uh, so that's going to give me about a year of working time on 
all the different courses and all the different classes and tasks that we're going to want make mandatory our units members attend take learn pass and then once uh, they're not going to be hard they're going to be easy okay I'm trying not to make them overly complicated I also don't want to have too many of them but I also want to have advanced training so we're going to have like a uh, fighter pilot training that's going to be different than just flying because flying is one thing but being a fighter pilot is much different being an explorer is going to be different being a capital ship pilot is going to be different being a navigator, being the gunner, you know, those are all advanced trainings. Uh, being a border, uh, boarding actions or repelling borders, that's going to be part of the marine advanced training. There's going to be reconnaissance and ground, uh, basically there's going to be some uh, infantry that I'm very versed in and I'm not talking about um, combat on foot. What I'm talking about is how to, like, not, not reconnaissance, like stealth and evasion and uh, gathering of intelligence and things like that. These are all different ty types of advanced courses. And uh, that's not part of boot camp. Boot camp is just knowing how to play the game. To be in the squadron, we want you to know how to play the game. That's, <laughs> look at this guy behind me. Just insanity. Okay, but that's fine. He's landing. He's crazy. All right, so I am working on that, but don't expect that to be out anytime soon. But upcoming events, we don't really have any events up planned except for when 3.0 comes out. When 3.0 comes out, we're going to probably have a bunch of get-togethers and some organized events. But right now, we don't know what that is. So just keep your ears peeled and keep your eyes to the ground. No, that's, I don't know. How, how does that go? Keep your eyes peeled, your ear to the ground, and just, you know, just no use of the force. Okay, and uh, what do we got? Upcoming boot camp, right? Uh, okay, 3.0 schedule was out, and I'm looking on the ground. There's no discharge on the ground. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, uh, 3.0 schedule came out. I'm, um, I'm, I'm upset. No, I'm not really. But I am disappointed that, uh, dude, what's up? He's going to try to get in my ship. He cannot get in my ship. And there he goes. What am I upset about? Okay, 3.0 schedule came out just this last Friday. I read it. If they changed it. They've added colors to the thing saying that they're released or they're finished or they're... Okay, there's a new category. It says feature complete. We've seen feature complete on a bunch of these. Now we're seeing some of them that used to be feature complete now say coding complete. So when it says feature complete, that means that they've got the idea, they've figured it out, how they want to do it, done. But it hasn't been coded yet. <laughs> now some of them say coding complete. That was a... So fe being feature complete was kind of like a tease. Okay, so, but now, but now a lot of them are coding complete. That's fine. The dates have been moved back yet again, and I've got it up here. I've got it above me. It says that PTU should start somewhere on July 24th to August 3rd, today being July 4th, Independence Day. Okay. Yay, 4th of July. Okay, so... It's going to be a month from now before we see it in PTU hands. And I might or might not be part of that. If I'm not, no big deal. You know, I'll, I know I'll eventually be part of the PTU, but when, don't exactly know. Uh, but it's not going to go into general public until probably the 15th. You know, so we're looking at a month and a half for general public. Uh, when it was supposed to be, what, last March? April, May, June, July, August. Whew. Okay, but next week I'm sure it'll be pushed back another two weeks. Every week they push it back two weeks. It's like one step forward, two steps back. You know, so I don't know. They need to just say, screw it, we're going to release it even with the bugs and we'll fix it on the fly. 
That's what they, that's what they need to do. But um, I understand there's some certain things they want to put in to make sure it happens. And I'm sure that's what they're going to do. We'll just see how it, we'll just see how it works out. Okay, so uh, unit news. As you know, I've been working on the engine website. I think I already went over this. Uh, some of the modules are not being allowed because we're not a paying member on engine anymore. We are now a freebie. And because of that, a lot of the modules have been turned off. And when I left the module there, hoping that someone would donate to the channel or the, the website, I, those would reactivate and those would just be fine. But it's been sitting there for almost a full month, deactivated, and it looked and it says right there, you know, your your website's full of crap, you know. So I said, oh my God, okay, I'm gonna have to go through the website and pull down all these all these modules that uh, are dis disabled, uh, just to make the website look clean. I'm gonna move some things around. Uh, I'm gonna gear it. I'm gonna gear the website towards a free model, and that way. It won't look so, some pages look so barren and other pages look like they've got, you know, things that say this, this module is missing because it's not approved or something. I didn't want that to happen. So I'm going to clean the website up. Okay. Uh, promotions and awards. We really haven't had any promotions. Um, we actually are sitting pretty good on the leadership in the unit. Uh, we have myself and Paraset as the uh, senior command officers in the in the unit. We have uh, Nightwing as our Lieutenant JG, and he's uh, part of the uh, criminal investigation unit. And then I've got uh, Grubalicious and Space Cowboy. Grubalicious is our Intel and Reconnaissance group leader, and Space Cowboy is our Marine Detachment leader. Um, Grubalicious was working on a computer, I think, and I think he's good to go on that now. And Space Cowboy, I think, was also working on a computer. He got a new job somewhere. And so I haven't seen him around a lot. So um, we have to keep our eyes open for that. But uh, we do have a couple of vacant spots. We've got our trade and commerce is uh, open. Um, there hasn't been any trade and commerce in Star Citizen, really, but with 3.0, it's going to start coming in, and the, the, those mechanics are going to start to come in. So we're going to need a lot of mer merchants, mining operations, salvage, uh, base operations, things that involve cargo hauling, organizing detachments of escorts, you know, um, all that is really the responsibility of trade and commerce leader, and right now, that's defaulting to me, uh, but if you are interested in that, if you're interested in being a leader of that group of our squadron, it's open. So give me give me a word, and if you're an active player and you are really into spreadsheets, crunching numbers, figuring out what the best course or path to get the most amount of money into the squadron or something like that uh, in game, talk to me. Let's, let's make this happen. And then the last thing is a saber leader. It's called the saber leader, but technically it's our fighter wing. It's the, it's the portion of our squadron. The main meat and potatoes of the squadron really is our fighter wing. And that's uh, where we're going to do escort missions. We're gonna, that's how we're going to make a lot of our money, pretending that we are an actual naval squadron. We're going to go to rescue people. And when we do that, we're going to charge them taxes. And that's how our squadron is going to make money. Uh, now we're going to escort, car if cargo companies want us to escort them from point A to point B, we're going to do that. But we're going to do that with a tax. We're going to tax them. It's all it's called as a tax, but really it's just we're going to have them pay us. Okay, and then housekeeping, right? If you're a member of the squadron, I expect you to log into Discord when you're playing Star Citizen. You don't have to log into Discord 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have seen some people on there all the time. They stay logged in, but that's probably because they're using their mobile device, which Discord allows, right? Um, and that's fine. But when you decide that you're going to log in and start playing Star Citizen, I want you to get onto Discord so that other people in the squadron can see that you're playing Star Citizen and can maybe link up with you or team up or something like that. If you don't want to team up, that's okay. Just just tell, let them know, hey man, I'm, I'm just doing a solo mission. I'm only going to be on for 30 minutes and then I'm logging out. 
fine. But at least be on Discord. Let us know what's going on. So we know where you stand and what's going on in the universe. All right. And now, if you have not logged into Discord or... Now, I have on here, on the on the thing right here, I have it, it says the engine site. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, with our engine site probably getting ready to move over to Spectrum, I'm not really going to... I'm not really going to stress over the engine site. If you want, if you need to be a member of the engine, you do need to be a member of the engine site right now, until everything gets moved over to Spectrum. But because it's not in Spectrum yet, uh, I mean, when it goes to Spectrum, I'm going to pretty much just close down the engine site once we're able to get everything moved over. Uh, but right now we can't. Uh, but if you don't ever log into Discord, you don't ever talk to anybody, you don't ever fly with anybody. You don't ever uh, log into the engine site. You don't ever log on to the RSI website. You don't ever do anything in the squadron. Then are you really in the squadron? If you don't ever team up with somebody in the squadron, are you really in the squadron? No, probably not. So you'll probably be moved to our inactive roster. You know, And the inactive roster doesn't really have a lot of access to the website. Okay, last, last thing I wanna say before we move on uh, and in this video and in this update it's not on the update above this is just just look if you were able to stick with me for 30 minutes uh, this let me we'll let you know this our squadron will let anybody join okay we are an open squadron basically if you ask to join our squadron first thing we do is we vet you and we, we do a very mild vetting okay all I do and this is this is all I really do, is I check your information, I check your presence online to see if you're a criminal, to see if you're associated with known criminals, to see if you're hiding the fact that you're in another organization. It's things like this, right? If you do any of these things that might have a red flag on you, then I will not allow you into the squadron. But if you're an upstanding citizen of the UEE, you're a, you're new, you don't know anything about Star Citizen or whatever, that's fine, we'll let you in. You're a veteran, you've been playing Star Citizen since the beginning, and you're just looking for another squadron to join, you wanna be in our squadron, you're in. If you've, uh, you've, you're in other squadrons, and they're all legit squadrons or legit organizations and they're not criminal organizations you're in right so we'll let you join we'll let anybody join okay so but once we let you in behind the scenes there's kind of like a 30 60 90 day trial period that you're going through you just don't know it, right? You're going through this trial period. It's us de deciding. It's who. It's our current active members are deciding. Without telling, without even talking to you, we're deciding if you're the a fit for our squadron. We're gonna say, man, this guy, he is awesome, man. He's always online. He's always teaming up with us. I've learned quite a bit of first person techniques from this guy. He showed me how to fly this ship, you know. He helped me out one day when I didn't know how to do this. That's the guy that's gonna stay in the squadron. Man, this guy, you know, he logs in, he's always on Discord, he never talks to anybody. Whenever we're playing, he never logs in. You know, I've never seen him post anything in the spectrum. You know, I've, I've never seen him do anything with anybody in the squadron. That's the guy? that finds himself one day getting a letter from Mr. Everything saying, thank you, but no thank you, right? You're a great guy, I love you to death, but you don't really want to be in the squadron. You apparently don't have any interest in our squadron. So just to let you go, we're just gonna let you go, you know? So there are other squadrons out there that do it the other way around. They say, you hang out with us for a couple of weeks, you know, let's talk to you and see what you're doing, see what you're about. And then they invite you to the squadron. That's okay. I mean, we're basically both doing the same thing. 
It's just that we do it while you're active with us. And they're doing it as you're just a friend of the squadron and then we'll invite you later. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna let you in first and then we'll let you off easy. So don't be that guy. Be the guy that is participates, helps, volunteers his time, helps each other. If you need help, ask for help. That's that's okay too. You know, if you're learning, you're trying to learn, you want to learn. I totally, I think that's even a better person than someone that's trying to help. I mean, because you, you realize you got shortfallings and you're, you need help. I'm okay with that too. All right, guys, so thanks for coming out and checking out this State of the Unit address. And uh, if you're part of the squadron, um, be, get excited about 3.0. Start logging in. Start mingling with the rest of the squadron. If you're um, just waiting for 3.0, I get that. That's cool. But if you're not a member of the squadron and you want to, participate in in our squadron activities or thinking about joining our squadron you can always get in our discord or you can also actually just jump on and join the unit all right guys well thank you for coming out and checking this out and i'll see you in the hangar